Hey guys, how's it going? This is Delmer again and welcome back to my channel. So in the previous episode, I walked you through using Sainjack to basically use dependency injection in Unity when creating our games. So I want to expand on that conversation and show you a couple of more options. So if we go back to the documentation for Sainjack, we can see that we can do different types of injection. We can do construct constructor injection which means that when the object gets created, we can inject an instance into our constructors. We can also do fill injection. We can use property injection and method injection. So, so what I, what I want to do on this episode to demonstrate some of these principles is to actually walk you through making some changes to the existing implementation of the game manager and line manager and also create a new manager, which is going to be called the SFX manager, which is going to be responsible for, you know, generating sound effects in our game. So let's actually make a couple of changes. So the first thing that I want to do is go back into Unity and I'm going to create a new manager. This manager, it's going to be called the SFX manager. and hit enter let's open it up and what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete the implementation i'm going to go into our game manager i'm going to copy the interface and i'm just going to rename sfx manager and then in the method definition i'm going to say generate sound and then we can say this is the sound name perfect and then we're going to implement that method in the F sfx manager and we want to actually change this to isfx manager because this is an interface and it's giving us a warning that's fine and let's inherit from sfx manager perfect so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to just, I'm just going to say debug that log and plain sound. And we can just say sound name. Perfect. So the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to go into our installer and I'm going to bind to that new object. ISFX manager, SFX manager. And I want the SFX manager to be injected into the light manager. So basically when the light meta it's called to turn it off, I'm gonna call the SFX manager to generate a sound. So to do that, let's go back into the light manager. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna implement a new way of injecting a property. So we're actually gonna do a private and in this case, I'm going to do ISFX manager and SFX manager. And we're just basically going to inject it. And we need to add our using statement. So in the previous implementation, we used the setup method to, to inject. So basically, we were using method injection. In this one, we're using fill injection. So what I'm going to do is at the end of this meta, when we are toggling the lights, I'm going to generate a sound. And this is going to be lights sound generated. Now if we go back into Unity and we go into our console and we hit play, we should see that that meta got generated and it was called. And actually our instance was actually created just as we expect it. So the other way that we could have done this is we can use property injection and we could actually, we can make this a public property, add a getter and then a private setter. Because we only want that to be set in this instance. We don't want any, any anybody else set in this instance. So if we go back into Unity we clear our log and we go ahead and play. And that also works. 
now let's actually try so we did fill injection we also try property injection and in the previous episode we did method injection the only one that we haven't tried is actually the constructor injection so if we go back to the light manager instead of changing the light manager let's go into our game manager and here we're injecting the light manager so we're actually going to change this to be when the when the game manager gets created we're going to inject basically copy that code and we can remove perfect let's just make sure so if you notice on this one we didn't need the inject attribute on it and that's because the sandject framework knows that it needs to inject that into the constructor so everything should be good and we should see that the lights get get turned off so i'm going to clear the log and i'm going to hit play and that also works so just to give you a recap we created a new manager which is called the sfx manager and implemented a generate sound which basically just displays a message of which sound we're generating and the other thing that we did we also created a bind it to our container and created a singleton and lastly we changed the way that we are injecting information into our managers so in the instance of the game manager we're injecting the line manager in the constructor in the line manager we we try using fill injection and also property injection and that basically wraps up this video so if you guys have any questions let me know through the comments i'm i'm pretty passionate about this subject and don't forget to share this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys.